Hello everyone, so today we're a little bit later to get going. We rented a scooter this morning and it's costing us 90,000 rupiah, but places here don't open super early, so it only opened at nine and we have a very busy day planned. So it's about 10.30 right now and today we are doing a DIY temple tour around Ubud. So the first temple that we're at today is Turta and Pool. It was about maybe a half an hour drive out of Ubud, so it really wasn't that bad. There's tons of tourists here already. This is probably one of the most popular temples in this area. It's the water temple, I do believe, and they often have like little rituals that you can do, like blessings you can do with them. So I'm really excited to check it out, so let's go. Oh, it was also 50,000 rupiah per person to get in, so not bad. Okay, so we just walked a little ways into the temple area, but we stopped at the strong counter. It's all free. It's all free, and so we had a nice, very nice gentleman come and help put them on for us to make sure we did that correctly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now we are about to enter like the main part of the temple, and I think this is gonna be really cool. And so there is a couple rules. So if you have longer hair, you do have to put it up. I didn't see a sign that you had to cover your shoulders, but I am just doing it out of respect and I think that it might be nice if you do. I don't think it was an actual rule. Anyways, I think we're going to head in now that we're all properly dressed. Yeah. Okay, so we've just made it to the back end of this property. It's actually way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it's, huge. it's really beautiful. Again, with all of the carvings and the gold kind of embellishments and stuff. The holy water ceremony. Well, currently it's Sunday at 11 a.m., so I feel like we're at height of touristy. For sure, we are. Because uh, Graham and I were going to do it. Uh, but you just like there's so many people and it kind of seems like you're just like herded like cattle through it all like yeah. I don't know if someone really explains like the meaning and the purpose behind it Maybe you have to get a guide for that. I'm not really sure seems like it So we're just gonna kind of play it by ear. We haven't even seen a thing where you yeah. can get changed Yeah, I have no idea and, like, where put on the different sarong and like put your stuff away and stuff like that So we'll see what happens Okay, update. We're gonna go and we're do, gonna do it. We're gonna go do the, the, the ritual. We yeah. figured we've come all this way and we wanted an authentic experience. Why would we come and not do it? It's only uh, 10 rupiah for the green sarong that you wear into the water yep. and 15 for the locker and mm -hmm. we can split a locker. So Graham told me to bring clothes I can get wet in. Okay, so I assumed just regular clothes because I'm at a temple and I need to be like modest or whatever. No, you can bring your bathing suit and then put the green sarong over your bathing suit. So I'm gonna wear <laughs> wet clothes, I guess for the rest of the day because this He'll is our off. first stop. I'll go fast on a scooter and drive it off. It'll be okay. Yeah, anyways, well we're gonna go it. get changed. Yes. So we will see you after. I definitely feel refreshed. That yeah, was that awesome. Was, that was really cool. That was a uh, very cultural, experience i think and i'm very happy that we did it we did it because i think we would have looked back and gone it was not that expensive why didn't we? why didn't we so i think even though it took like probably a good 
Oh, two you're, hours. you have to have a lot of patience. It takes a long time. But it was 100% worth it. Luckily yeah. enough, we were behind a family of locals too, which is, is really good. It didn't feel like we were surrounded by only tourists. Like mm -hmm. there was a good mix of locals and obviously a lot of tourists too, but I, I just found it really cool. Yeah. Everyone was doing it at their own pace. Yeah, with that being said, we are going to pack this camera up, get back on the scooter and head to our next temple. Okay, so as we were leaving, Graham and I got a recommendation from one of the locals that there's a coffee plantation like five minutes down the road. So that's where we've come. And like, as soon as we parked, someone's like, oh, like follow me. Let me, let me show you, I'll take you through our ground. So anyways, we're following, you know, I think someone that works here, I have no idea if this costs any money. He's telling us about all of his coffee beans, lemongrass, stuff like that. It's really cool. We're just kind of going along for the ride. This is a leaf from a cinnamon tree. Whoa. It smells so good. That's crazy. Normally we take from the back. Uh, we use for cinnamon stick. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so he was just telling us that the bark from the cinnamon tree is how they actually make cinnamon sticks. Did not know that. So this tree here is actually a really, really young tree. Usually they're a lot bigger and a lot thicker so you can make like larger cinnamon sticks. Okay, so something we knew was a thing in Bali, but we just haven't been able to try it yet, is luwak coffee. So this animal behind me is a luwak, and they eat the coffee berries, and then digest them, and then when they release them from the other end, that is the coffee beans that they then make the coffee from. So maybe we'll get to try it at this coffee plantation i'm not really sure i really have no idea what's going on but the person who's guiding us around is really cool we've like they have tons of stuff in their garden but i just thought this animal was super cute they only have babies here and then when they get to one year old they release them back into nature so they are never like just holding the animal to eat the coffee beans and stuff like that which is really cool so anyways i'm gonna continue you open one by one yeah. by hand you can try. Try one <laughs> how long does that take <laughs> long processing it's a long process 100 yeah, sure. okay. okay. it's very bitter <laughs> <laughs> But not bad. <laughs> I like don't really know what's going on. Um, when Graham was trying to take out money and I was at the scooter by myself when we were leaving the place planning to go to another temple, one of the locals was just like, oh, like, where are you going, you know? I was like, oh, like, I think we're going to another temple. And he's like, oh, well, there's a really good, like, coffee plantation that's five minutes away. I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, here, give me your phone. I'll put it into Google Maps. So I was like, whoa, that looks really cool. And Graham and I are like, oh, they probably have some kind of food there, too, because we haven't eaten lunch, so, like, maybe. So we'll just go check it out. It's five minutes. If it's a bust, then we'll just, like, leave. Like, it's not really out of our way. Um, and we parked the car, someone said follow me, and took us through their whole garden. He is so nice, he super knowledgeable, showed us all the plants. They have like vanilla, cinnamon, pineapple, banana, cacao. like cacao, like there's so many, so many things. This is beautiful and it's huge and then all of a sudden we came out of the garden and they had, he took us through like the whole process of how they make coffee from like getting the beans to roasting the beans. We could try everything. There's the animals. <laughs> and then there's this beautiful lookout where he sat us down and he's like, okay, now we'll do the tasting. <laughs> I was like, okay. And it's literally 14 things. And he's like, oh, and it's free. Like, don't worry about it. But if you want to try a coffee, like that costs, I don't even know how much it costs. 80,000 rupiah? 
So it costs 80,000 rupee and we're like, okay, if all of this is free, we're gonna buy a cup of coffee. And I wanna try the Lua coffee anyways. And I've been wanting to do a, a coffee tour on this trip when we were in Ubud anyways. So like, it's just like, now we just got one. That's the one that we bought. But all of this, like we have Bali coffee, cocoa powder, ginseng coffee, vanilla coffee, coconut coffee, chocolate coffee, avocado coffee, and like so many teas. Anyway, so we're just gonna sit here and enjoy and look at this beautiful view and I don't know. We're just, this is great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so he came and did whatever he did to steep my coffee, which was really cool. And also brought us cassava chips. They're delicious. They kind of taste like potato chips, but kind of like the texture if you got like plantain chips. Delicious. Love this. So now that my coffee is ready, I just want to remind you guys that the berries went through this little animal here until he pooped it out and then they got they washed and roasted the beans from it so essentially this is poop coffee <laughs> but i'm very excited to try it i'm pretty sure it's just gonna be really really strong with strong aromas it smells like strong coffee oh wow this is good there is like very strong flavors that I don't know how to describe to you because I'm not fantastic at describing flavors, but it's delicious. Highly recommend this. It's like, especially if you're a coffee lover like Graham and I, it's it's a must do if you're in Bali that you have to try Luwak coffee or Luwak. I don't remember how it's pronounced, but it's delicious. Okay, we've got our sarongs, we're heading in. Okay, we have made it to Daya Tariq Wasada Ganung Kauai Temple. <laughs> this one's famous for Obama because he, uh, he visited this temple in 2017 with his family when he was here. So that's kind of cool. Um, but more importantly, it's absolutely beautiful. They have all these structures carved into the wall. Um, so it's, it's really breathtaking. There's not much more I can say about it other than that. This temple is actually stunning. Like it's nestled right in like a little valley. There's like coming from the other one where there was like so many tourists and you were just shuffling between people to this one where there's like honestly no one. It's so tranquil and quiet. Like I almost feel bad for talking loud. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that Graham found this one. Okay, so we are just kind of wrapping things up here at this temple that was very hard to pronounce. <laughs> Overall, beautiful temple. This has been like probably my favorite part of the day other than the random coffee tour that oh, we that did. Oh, that was so good. I think that like the lack of tourists here and like it's just quiet and calm here I think is like a huge bonus for this one. Yeah, um, we've just been like sitting 
enjoying this view soaking it all in yeah. like we haven't really been in a rush to leave which is really nice it's nestled in the heart of so much vegetation so yeah. it's really green it smells really good you hear waterfalls like it's just it's really peaceful and it's a very good contrast to the first temple that we did this very true. morning yeah yeah i think that's exactly the best way to explain it right there i think we missed the stairs for the exit i think that's the exit and we're in the rice field <laughs> this is our path whoops whoops okay so even though we accidentally started down this path apparently there's another temple there so we're not leaving quite yet oh whoa that was almost bad Where on earth even are we? We just like happened upon this. We heard a tourist say that it's really cool and he checked it out and it was another temple, but it's like, it looks like there's actual buildings, like houses carved into the landscape. It's, it's cool. It feels like we're very like not supposed to be here, but it's like really well marked. So of course this is part of it. But anyways, this is absolutely blowing my mind. This is so good. I already, I think I love this temple like way more than the first one it's just it is so cool okay also just wanted to add so at the last temple we didn't really see any buildings like these ones behind me here because that was just a temple site this one is technically a temple slash ruin site yeah the contrast is really cool all right so robin and i made it back to our place we parked the scooter Lay down for probably 10 minutes or so just hmm. to regroup a little bit. I think the zero food and very little water today is catching up to me. Yes, and I think it's catching up to me as well. Um, so we are going to a place for supper that we went to last night. It was so good. I almost regretted not bringing the camera. Yeah, so we decided that tonight we're going to bring the camera so we can show you exactly what we're eating and uh, how delicious it is. All right, so I got the same thing I got yesterday. I had to, it was so good. And it's traditional. It's a traditional dish called nasi kampur. It comes with rice, marinated tofu, tempeh and potatoes, and then like some like veggie patties, I think is what they are. And then some like sprouts and greens and stuff. And I already know like everything is delicious. I can't wait to eat it again. <laughs> So I got the chicken curry, it comes with the chicken curry obviously, and then it comes with some bean sprouts and some rice as well on the side. Um, so I am going to try this. Oh yeah, that's very good, that is very, very, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, much. Thank Thank you, you so much, Thank this you. is awesome. No, that was, yeah, we'll you. definitely be back. I'll be yeah. with you, yeah. That food was very much needed, and the people that work there are just so nice. We'll probably go back again before we leave. We'll definitely go back before we leave. <laughs> okay, Robin and I have been just kind of hanging out for the last, I guess, hour or so here. I think today was a fantastic day. Um, maybe didn't go quite as planned with the DIY temple tour, <laughs> but I but like whatever. But I think like the whole coffee plantation experience was like way cooler than anything we could have planned. And I'm also really glad that we, so sometimes when we go like sightseeing of like top things to do, it's like you go to a place, you look at it, you're like, okay, cool. And then moving on to the next thing. But I yeah. feel like for the first one, we really took our time and then decided to do the water ritual blessing and uh, got very burnt doing that. Yeah, shoulders, <laughs> completely red. And then like the coffee plantation, it was just kind of like, going with the flow, like someone there kind of took us under his wing, which was really cool. I'm yeah. sure they do it for everyone, but it seemed just like, it was a very cool yeah. experience. I do so. wish we, I do wish we like got his name or like got him on the video because he subscribed after. So um, <laughs> if this so, is you and you're watching it, comment below your name because we you, loved you. Yeah, you were the best, so. And then like same with the temple at the very end, it literally was something straight out of like an Indiana Jones movie. Like it was Seriously. so cool. We felt like we were in like the middle of the jungle with like barely <laughs> anyone and it was just, it was, it was really cool. I really, really enjoyed that second temple that we went to. Yeah, if you are in the Ubud area, 
feel free to hop on a scooter and uh, recreate our day because <laughs> you're gonna have a wonderful day if you do that. So, so, so much fun. I yeah. would recommend though, if you are wanting to do that water ceremony, go early in the morning. Get there earlier than we did. Yeah, it was a lot of like standing and waiting. And then you shuffle and then you stand and wait and yeah. then you shuffle and then you stand and wait which is why we didn't prep for it and which is why we got burnt today which was unfortunate <laughs> and it also i just feel like would be a completely different experience if it was like not as many people or you sure. and just like a whole bunch of locals in the morning so that is kind of where we're gonna leave the video for today hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one Bye bye It's these four are this way, and then these these two are this way. I feel like that's kind of common sense. Are you Jimmy? Yeah. Wow! 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 Wow!